What up? It's your girl Mad, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm a full time reseller, and I make my money by going to the Goodwill outlet and picking up clothes, houseware, or other things like that that I can resell on eBay, Mercari, or Poshmark. I'm going to show you what I picked up at the outlet this week and what I'm expecting to get for these. I'm going to try to show you the comps, how much I expect to make off of each of these items. There's some Bolo brands in here that I was really excited about, and there's these ones are brands that I've actually never found before, and I'm expecting to make some money. I'm excited. Let's get into this. I usually like to share things that you could do at home too with things that you already have around the house because if I can do it, so can you. This is a you can do it channel, so make sure you subscribe. <laughs> Let's get into it. So I'm pretty excited. I'm going to start off with the things that I found for myself. And of course, I'm going to show you wait till the end because those are where my big money maker items are and i'm going to show you what i found starting with this little garfield um it's a pot holder oakley hat these run hats if you follow my other videos i love selling hats it's a 10 to 20 dollar profit they are easy there's another hat somewhere these are the sanic sandals these look like they were barely even worn these are, uh, not sure what I can get for these, but also this is paper pound at Goodwill, the Goodwill outlet. So I don't always look up the comps. Kendra found this. I just threw it in. It's a Duffy's like the Simpsons. That's the Duffy's, right? Duffy time is Simpsons. These are some Ikea placemats. These are actually a retired set from 2011. Kendra has been finding these online for like $20. There was another glow stick, but we found two glow sticks. Kendra, I found this all in motion crop top. My favorite part about going to the bins is actually like finding things for me. I love to thrift, but I like to also find things secondhand. If I can save the landfills, plus this stuff is cheap. This is just a crop top for her to wear to the gym, yoga. It's all in motion. That's from Target. Feels really nice. It's not a, a big profit. This is a White House black market basic tank top. I live in basically whites or blacks or anything solid. My cousin has a little baby. This is for 18 months, so I have a collection of t-shirts going. Kendra loves Star Wars. We pick it up. These oversized t-shirts are totally our thing. I was really excited to find this. I know she was too. Nike casual shorts. These are more, um, these are a super cute style. I'm really excited to keep these for me. I found two pairs of Adidas sweatpants. Kendra tried them on and thinks they're for her, but I'm keeping them. I love sweatpants. I don't wear them often. We live in Florida. It's hot, but Adidas sweatpants, I don't think I'd make very much, maybe like $10 or $15. And I found another pair of Zara pants. I love Zara jeans. One of my favorite jeans is a wide leg Zara jean, but they're stretched. These are black, wide leg. I'm pretty excited. Throwing those into my wash pile to get those washed ASAP. Also found this Calvin Klein wallet, new with tags. This was in the bins. It is a little dirty, but you know, this stuff is literally brand new with tags. I can't believe people throw the show. Okay, so for the clothes, um, we picked up 40, it, I spent $52. It was 25 pounds, so $52 or whatever, something like that with tax. And starting off with these Old Navy, new with tags. Usually the plus size, you hear me say it, I sell them. They're great. I am expecting to maybe make like $18 or something for these. I usually post them and make money pretty quick on the Old Navy stuff with tags. These are express. They are a short I saw these running there originally $75. So on Poshmark, hopefully I saw comps for 30. Wranglers, new with tags, men's, love men's, love plus size. These are actually, because they are new with tags, I picked them up. I sold a few Wrangler things already this past month. And for some reason that brand is moves from like 15 to 30. So I'm excited about that. Some Nike pro leggings. I pick up Nike more or less. This is probably like a 10 or $12 pair of pants. So I found this brand. This is exciting. It's called Lucky Charm. And this is what the label actually looks like. Hopefully you can see that. And they are a little pilly. I'm going to take the sweater shaver to them. But I found these running pre-owned for $35 on Poshmark. New with tags. More new with tags. This, um, this is the third one. And I'm only on like number six here. N Nike. Knee length. Um, regular shorts. They're an extra large, but literally new with tags. Target Reeks Rixo. I'm not sure, but a lot of these are those collaborations with Target. You can make pretty decent money. The thing is that they are, it's one of those things that's a past season, but not just with the Target stuff. That's like a collaboration. They're mass produced. Okay. So 
Sometimes that stuff might sit for a little while. Gymshark sports bra with the padding. This is a Kate Spade. I'm pretty sure it's a nightgown, but it's like a knit dress. Kate Spade is just one of those brands. This is another new with tags from Old Navy, just a men's tank top. Probably like a $10 profit. More Nike, green, dry fit tank. I don't always pick them up, but this is in good condition. More new with tags. This was New York and Company. And this originally was a $50 top. And this is also a size small. So it's an oversized sweater. Probably won't sell until winter, but that's okay. Lush. It has a tag, but this is the Goodwill tag. This is really cute. Kendra said, I got this for you. So I might try it on to see if this is something I would wear. More new with tags. This was Champion. $35 original. And this is actually, look, oh, I was going to say, this looks like the reverse weave tag, but it's not. This shirt is so cute. It's just a grand, the, it's a grand Teton, grand Teton mountains. I don't even think I say that right, but it's a national geographic t-shirt. I've sold one of these. I made like $15 off eBay. Wally. This is a Pixar t-shirt. I don't usually pick this up and I probably won't make much off of it, but it was cute. Natural life. This is a great brand. My last video, I actually found a natural life dress and I'm, it's listed right now for $35. I have a few watchers on it. I don't know if it's sold yet, but this video will be out probably before it even sells. But this is another natural life. This is a brand you got to pick up. It sells really well and people love this brand. It's very well sought out. Um, this is Flying Coffin. I have no idea. Here it is. I don't know what I'm going to get for this. Kendra threw it in. I thought she looked it up, but she didn't. This is Ted Baker. Oh, we're getting to the money brand. So these are the ones that I'm expecting to make a good profit on. Ted Baker. I sold two things in the beginning of my reseller career before I even knew this was like a big thing. But Ted Baker is one of those brands that you do need to check styles, but they usually sell pretty fast for me if they're priced right. This is a brand, These all these brands, most of them, I've never picked up um, besides maybe one or two of those. Besides the Ted Baker, this is actually Silver Lake, F-S-L-V-R-L-A-K-E. Yes, they do have a stain. I'm going to try to wash them and get them out. These were paper pounds. We didn't pay too much for them. Kendra is the queen of cleans. Another baller brand is AG. Yes, they are skinny, but I think the generation of skinny jeans will never go. Also, one teaspoon. I just saw someone on Instagram share this, that this was one of those brands you need to pick up and be on the lookout for. And they sell some of their shorts run for $110 brand new. So this is a brand to be on the lookout for. You can definitely make some money. Another thing, if you're out at the bins, one of my favorite things, a good way to know if this is actually anything, this little tag right here has like a little sticker and that probably went to the dry cleaning or something like that. These are called the great I, the print is what actually pulled me to them. Um, and they're a button fly fellow jean. I have seen these listed somewhere, some odd amounts. So this is how much I'm expecting to get for them. I'm pretty excited about this jean haul. And then the last thing that's on here, um, one of my guys, one of the guys that his friends gave me this denim jacket. I should get like $50. It is seven for all mankind. This is a brand that I sell pretty well. Most of the jeans I pick up from this brand, I make 30 bucks on. So check out these brands. Let me know if there's something here that you thought was really interesting. I flew through this one today and I am really excited to get this stuff listed. If you're interested in anything that I sold, let me know in the comments if you're interested in other kinds of videos like how I ship, how I sell, what I sold. And I can start getting those videos together because I'm always curious as to what people are actually interested in the reseller world. This is what I pick up to sell. That doesn't necessarily mean it actually sells. And I love seeing the thrift hauls because they are fun. But if you're curious about how I do this, you could do this too. Make your money. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell so you get notified when I post these. I'm so grateful you're here. Thanks for being here. It's your girl, Mad. Peace out.